Good morning, gorgeous ones. I'm a little late this morning, but a very good reason. So I have just come off uh, interviewing Dr. Brett Scherr, who is a cardiologist from America and is the medical director of dietdoctor.com. So that was super fun, super exciting. And, uh, you know, I was a tiny bit fan girly. So, um, yes, I just thought I would share that with you. And I've just literally just finished if you can hear my dog, I'm sorry about that. She's standing at the window there trying to, trying to come in. Um, Friday, how are you all going? I hope you're all happy, healthy and well. One of the tidbits that I got from Dr. Sher is really, it's not really a tidbit, it's really just reaffirming what we've been talking about for a long, long time. Good morning, Joes. That cardiovascular disease or in fact, vascular disease of all sorts because it's really organ should be just called sort of organ vascular disease because this is the whole point isn't it we want to look after our brain want to look after our heart want to look after our liver our kidneys our eyes good morning all whereas um you know cardiovascular disease i think centers on that heart because of the concept that you can have a heart attack and that you can treat it quite quickly but if we're thinking, well, we want to obviously prevent. So we want to prevent vascular disease. Now, there's lots and lots of things that we know that we can do to prevent that. And certainly low carb, real food is the pinnacle. It certainly is the pinnacle of that. And that is super helpful. Reduces so many of our metabolic risk factors for cardiovascular disease. But he also mentioned that stress management, super important. Getting good, action, getting good sleep super important connecting with your friends or with other humans and i would put in their dogs as well <laughs> super important so um and movement okay we don't talk a lot about exercise at real life medicine because for a lot of people that word exercise it's very traumatic diet and exercise and that people exercised to be thin and that's not actually helpful it's not about doing some exercise to be thin. This is about moving your body to basically use it. So use it or lose it, as you know. And that can be in many, many different forms for many, many different people. And I know that our, one of our beautiful members, Susan, if she's watching, which she will, she dances around her house doing, you know, to do the laundry. Dances up to get the laundry basket, dances down when she's finished folding it. So movement can be all sorts of things. And if you watch my cooking show, you would have seen that I also talked about being able to do even just a few bits of strength training throughout the day while you're doing other things, while you're sitting there waiting for, you know, the kettle to boil, waiting for the um, dinner to cook. You know, you might be stirring it, but you can do some squats at the same time. Or in my, <laughs> in my house in the morning, waiting for the coffee machine to warm up brushing your teeth. It doesn't have to be a formal exercise program where you're pounding out, you know, kilometers on the treadmill wearing Lycra. It can be if you want to, but it doesn't have to be like that. So I guess at the heart of our conversation, see what I did there, um, it is all about really optimizing your lifestyle to improve uh, or to reduce, if you like, your risk of cardiovascular disease. And my loves, as you know, that's our jam. That is totally our jam. So um, I'm glad that you're all here. Uh, what I'd love, actually, since you're all here, if, if you can, at the end, write down some of the things that you're doing to optimize your lifestyle. Okay, again, it doesn't have to be perfect. You know, we're not big fans of perfect. But what are the, some of the things or what are the, some of the steps that you are thinking that you might want to add in? You know, you might be thinking, right, well, I've got the food nailed. I'm pretty good at going to bed, but you know, my stress is still out of control. So just write down in the thing, what, what are some of the steps that you're going to do to optimize, that's my new favorite word, optimize your lifestyle. Good, my loves. I will talk to you soon. Have a wonderful, wonderful day ahead and a beautiful weekend. Bye darlings.